In this lesson in circle geometry, we're going to talk about the angles in a circle. First of all, there's a vocabulary word which I haven't really defined before, and that's uh, subtendon, the word subtended. I don't know why they use this word, but it's a bit sounds kind of complicated, but let me try to explain it. Uh, an angle that subtends an arc or a chord is an angle that stands on or is formed by the endpoints of the arc. So if I have an angle, let me quickly um, draw a circle here. If I draw a circle, okay, there's a circle. And uh, what it's talking about here is that if I have any kind of an angle, so let's just say I draw an angle like this and like this. Uh, subtended means it's the, the arc that is uh, it is um, sub that is basically uh, this angle stands on. In other words, this part right here of the of the arc. So part of the, that part of the circle is subtended by that angle. If I have another, if I did another one here, okay. So I'm just going to say put an angle that looks something like this. Okay. Uh, there's another angle, different kind of angle. Uh, which part subtends this? Well, this part of the arc is subtended by that angle. So it's the part, it's kind of the open mouth of the triangle where it, where it touches the, between the two points that the angle touches the outside edge of the circle. That's all subtended is talking about. Okay, so let's go on to the key ideas now. And uh, the first key idea is inscribed angles. And it says here, inscribed angles subtended by the same arc of a circle are equal. So... If I drew an angle, let's just uh, once again draw another angle here. If I'm going to draw an angle like this, and an angle like, oh, let's say like that, there. And I drew another angle that uh, starts and ends at the same place on the circle. So it starts at A, we'll call it A here. Let me just change colors for that first. So we'll call it A. We'll call this point B. So I'm, if I'm if I'm basically starting A and, and ending at B. So once again, and so I'm going to continue this. I'm going to go back here and make my second side. There's two inscribed angles. They both start and end at A and B. I can make three, four, five of these. I could keep drawing different ones around that circle. Okay. And in fact. What I'll do is I'll draw one more. I'm going to draw one that's over here. And then uh, let me just finish it off by going right there. Again, that purple one starts at A and ends in B again. The, th the middle point touches a different part in the arc, but what it's telling us here is that these angles, okay, these three angles, they're all equal. They're all the same measure. So, for instance, if I said that the angle of that, if that angle was, say, um, 35 degrees, then this would be 35 degrees, and the purple one will also be 35 degrees. Okay, so if it, if it inscribed angle subtends the same arc, and what is that arc? The arc is right from there over to, from to A and B. That subtends the same arc, starts and ends at the same points, then the angles are equal. That's the first point, okay? We got that. Second point is a relation between central angles and inscribed angles. So let's do that. Let's draw a central angle and then an inscribed angle. So if I try to find the center here, I'd say it's about right there, the center of that circle roughly. And uh, if I take and I, um, let's just make um, a central angle. So central angle starts at the middle and uh, goes and, uh, okay, so a central angle is made from two radiuses, <coughs> okay, and um, so they're the same length, those si two sides. Now, uh, and if I make another angle, but this one's an inscribed angle, but again, I'm going to start from the same spot, and I'm going to end at the same spot. <coughs> Let me 
excuse me. Okay, so I've, I'm, I'm going to call this A again and call this B. And uh, the relationship here, it says a central angle is twice the measure of an inscribed angle. So for instance, if this angle was X, then this one here is twice as big, 2X. And that's what the A says. And, and the B says similar, but it says an inscribed angle is half the measure of the central angle. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, <coughs> sorry about that coughing. Um, let's continue here. So in other words, if I have, I've labeled C as the center and D as the other part of the inscribed angle. If I put down here angle, angle, a, D, B, that's the inscribed angle. Okay, inscribed angle. How does that relate to angle A, C, B? The, this is the central angle. Well, basically, uh, this says that the inscribed angle is one half of that. And or in other words, we could also say that angle ACB is two times angle ADB, same thing. Okay, and so just one quick thing there. So if X, if X equals 25 degrees, then Okay, 2x equals 50 degrees. Makes sense. So if the inscribed angle is 25 degrees, the central angle is double that. It's 50 degrees. So I hope you kind of catch that idea. That comes in really handy in solving certain kinds of problems. And uh, okay, so let's uh, move on to one more thing here before we do an example. It says when an inscribed angle uh, is subtended by a diameter, diameter of the circle. So basically what happens is this. If I have the diameter of the circle, let's, 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 diameter means it goes through the middle. So let's find the center. Center is right out there. Okay? Center is about there, and I'm going to draw uh, us right through the middle of the circle. So there we go. There. So there's our cord. It runs through the middle of the circle. Okay? Makes sense? Now, what it says is this. If I take, let's um, choose some colors here. If I take and I, so we've got here, let me, well, let me do this before I forget. Let's put A and let's put B down here. Okay. And I'm going to take this now and I'm going to draw an, an angle. This is going to be an inscribed angle. So it's going to start at A, end at B. And the other third point, the third, the, where they meet, is also on the circle. Okay, what it says that it, <coughs> if it goes, if the, um, if it joins at A and B, which are part of a uh, diameter of the circle, <coughs> that the um, inscribed angle is 90 degrees. So this is what it says that this angle here is 90 degrees. I'll put a little, okay. And so it doesn't matter where I draw it. I could draw it over here. So I start, as long as I start at the same point, and I end at the same point. So let's get this lined up again. Oops, what's going on here? There we go. And it basically ends at B. Then again, this will be 90 degrees. It doesn't matter where I draw it. And so, in fact, I can even draw it on the opposite side. I could draw it over here. So I could draw it starting from, from A and going to B kind of idea. A to B or B to A, doesn't matter, same thing. Then again, this will be 90 degrees because the A and B are endpoints of a diameter of a circle. Okay? That's the third and final point I'm going to make there today. So let's just do one example here. Just for this example, find the value of X. Well, how do I do this question? All I'm given is 
<clears throat> is 28 degrees. So here's X right there, that angle there. So it's angle uh, CAB. Now, how do I find that, that measure? Well, what do I know? First of all, this one here, the 28 degrees, let me just, um, if I think about this angle, this, ang this angle here, okay, I'll just change it, put a little color here, <coughs> is, it starts and ends at A and B, and so does, so does the other central angle. This is a central angle. This one here is the central angle, okay? And this one here is an inscribed angle. Inscribed, get it spelled right here. And they both start and ended A and B, and started at A and ended B. So what do you know about that? We know that a central angle is twice as big as the inscribed angle, so this angle must be 56. So 2 times 28 degrees equals 56. Now what do we know about this orange triangle now that makes it the X is part of? If I want to find out X, what do I know? Well I know that this, that AC equals BC because they're both radiuses of the same circle, okay, of the same circle. So that means this and this are equal. Well, hey, how does that help us? That's going to help us because when I do this, because um, I know that, that x is, is equal to this angle over here. This angle equals that angle. <coughs> So that means, that means they're both x. This is x as well. So 2x plus 56 has to equal what? If it's a triangle. Okay, well, the angles of a triangle have to give me 180 degrees. Well, okay, well, how do I find x? Well, let's get rid of the 56. So I'm going to subtract 56. Okay, so minus 56. It gives me 2x. Okay, these are gone equals, and that's going to give me 124, it looks like. Okay, now i got to get rid of that 2. How do I get rid of the 2? Well, I'm going to divide by, by 2. Those cancel out. I get x equals 62 degrees. There we go. So uh, x is 62 degrees. That's a little example of how that works.